many different ways to use a wah. I'm going to show you as many as I can in this video. The wah is probably the most recognizable guitar effect and it makes non-guitar people look like idiots when they hear it, so it's got to have some power, don't you think? So let's get into the ways you can use a wah. The first is to essentially turn your guitar into a drum set. And you don't necessarily need a wah to do this because you can treat the thicker strings on your guitar as the bass drum and the higher strings as like a snare. So a basic drum beat would be like. But the wah does a really cool thing with the frequency of your guitar signal. Essentially, it takes out all of the EQ when it's in the downward position, or it raises up the higher frequency of the EQ when it's in the raised position. So when you want the bass drum, you can be down low on the wah. When you want the snare crack, you can be high on the wah to get something like this. So, there you go. Drum set in your guitar. And depending on how your rhythm chops are, you can get really intricate with the rhythms that you put in, just like a drummer would do. Moving on to another way that we can use the wah pedal. This is essentially using the wah as a filter. So like I mentioned, when the wah is all the way back, all the wah back, <laughs> all the way back, you can get this really cool filtered effect. So turn on some distortion and you have this. I like that sound for rhythm guitar parts and there are bands who have used it. 311 comes to mind just with those stacked power chords. It can be a really great studio tool like if you want to thicken up a guitar sound or just have that part alone. It's a really creative way I think to use a wah pedal and you don't have to go all the way back if you don't want to. There have been guitarists in the past who have left the wah at a certain position. So think about the wah as a standalone effect and just put it at a certain point and see what you come up with. <laughs> Very mysterious and interesting sounding. You can also use it maybe in a little more funky way. So I really like having the wah in a fixed position when you want to just have a little bit of inspiration and get out of the tendencies that you may normally operate under with a wah pedal. Let's move on to another way to use a wah. This is gonna be consistency. So basically treating the wah pedal as an auto wah to have a consistent rhythm. And I find that this is sort of the best way to play funk guitar with a wah pedal is to have a consistent rhythm, just like you would have a consistent strumming rhythm and be really doing a lot of work with the muting, sort of accentuates different notes here and there, but the consistency of the wah and the consistency of the picking hand is really what's gonna generate some great rhythm stuff. Moving on to another way to use a wah. This way is basically the opposite of the consistency method, which is inconsistent. Basically using the wah at opportune times to accent specific notes in a melodic phrase to give them more effectiveness or draw more attention to them. <laughs> So, really great way to get a little bit more melodic elements out of whatever your licks are, and maybe a little bit more 
emotion and a little more feel that you can use for the wah pedal because really the wah pedal is a direct connection just like putting your fingertips on the fretboard the wah pedal you're putting your foot right on that thing so it is inherently the most human effect which is why it kind of sounds like a human sometimes <laughs> It can be really fun. And now, let's move on to yet another way to use a wah. All right, so I've switched guitars because we're gonna be using a Floyd Rose. You don't need a Floyd Rose or a whammy system to do this stuff, but I just find it's a little bit more fun with one. But basically, a wah pedal, especially with a lot more distortion dialed in than I have so far in this video, a wah pedal can really activate harmonics. So whether it's a natural harmonic, a pinch harmonic, or a robot sprinkle, it could be a great way to essentially put a harmonic on steroids. Obviously, in the backwards position, it's sort of going to dampen the harmonic. So even with a ton of gain dialed in, those harmonics aren't really heard that well because they're dampened by the frequency being sucked out of the high end. But when you do push that wah forward, you can hear how that is just, well, delightful. Essentially what this allows you to do is play with a bit more ease, a little bit more uh, of a safety net, if you will. So I can activate these harmonics with less problems than I would without the wah pedal. You hear how much more effective that was with the wah? And the reason it does that, I believe, is just because it is sucking out some of that low end frequency and just leaving space for the high frequencies and just making some science happen that blooms these harmonics. <laughs> So all of that uh, was happening basically when I pushed the wah forward, I can make any harmonic in the world happen it seems. And like I said, the robot sprinkles, and I actually picked that up from a YouTube subscriber. This is basically when you do a hammer on really fast with a bunch of gain and slightly touch the string with your pinky to activate the harmonic. It gives you something just like this. And obviously that is amplified even further with a wah. So I like that, and I bet you do too. And it doesn't stop there, how about some dive bomb harmonics? Listen to all those different harmonics happening and without that. It's just about the same uh, you know, gain level, but there's just something about having a wah pedal on when you're trying to do any sort of harmonic that just makes everything better in the world. Let's move on to another way to use a wah. This one I actually went over by accident at the very beginning of this video, but it's essentially using your wah pedal in a consistent way like we did before, but to create a tremolo or vibrato effect. And this one's very straightforward. Just play a chord and activate the wah to create the effect. That's it. Pretty sweet. Let's move on to another way to use a wah. This one is going to be to build tension. And essentially all you're gonna do is slowly, slowly raise the wah pedal up. And we're gonna have a lot of distortion for this, and you'll see why. <laughs> Activate something inside me that well, without a wah pedal would lie dormant. So I think that the open chords, these big rich chords down here, can be 
just the most effective or made more effective by this. But really any chord. <laughs> Notice that when the wah is dialed back, you don't really know what chord you're about to hear, and then as the wah comes forward, it sort of reveals the harmonic color of whatever chord you're playing. So it's sort of like a, a preview that you get when the wah is in the back, and then as it comes forward, the curtains start to open. Let's move on to yet another way to use a wah. This is essentially the reverse of what we just did, so we're going to pull back. <laughs> So that can be a great way to maybe end a song. And I think the two effects that we just went over are real crowd pleasers, you know? It just, when you hear it, you're like, whoa, that is a cool sound. People say the electric guitar is not what it once was. Well, I think that sound right there is unlike any sound that a synthesizer or any other instrument can create. And it's with that that I move on to the last way to use a wah, and that's essentially to be a guitar hero. I'm gonna take the same tone, but add some reverb and delay and change the wah pedal to one of my favorite guitar heroes' signature wah pedal and show you the height of intergalactic wah pedal oneness.